Hey guys, Thunder E here, and it's time for the video you've been waiting for. It's another battery charge test video, and this time it includes two devices that I know you guys wanna see. I'm talking about the OnePlus 7T, which comes with its brand new Warp Charge 30T from OnePlus. They promise this is gonna be much faster. It's gonna close the gap from the last video we had. And of course, the new Huawei Mate 30 Pro, which has, of course, a 40 watt charger on that device. It looks so good, so good. And as Danny would say, it's just hot fire. But we have other competitors in this video as well. That includes the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and we'll be using the 45 watt charger and some of you may ask, why not the 25? We already know what the 25 watt charger does. It does that in 65 minutes. So that's fine. But we're using the 40 watt, 5 watt charger in this video and also the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, the reason you're, you're wondering, okay, why the iPhone as well? I haven't tested this out in a charge test. I know it's got an 18 watt charger, but we'll see. Now, looking at all the devices here, we start off with the OnePlus 7T. It's got a 3800 milliamp battery. Uh, 30 watt charger is the Warp 32 charger. Moving over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, that has a 3,969 milliamp battery with an 18 watt charger. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a 4,300 milliamp battery using the 45 watt charger you can buy separately and not the 25 watt. And finally, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, which has a 4,500 milliamp battery and a 40 watt supercharger. Let's not waste any time and start charging. All right, let's get started here. We have all our devices. They are all turned off because you guys wanted me to check out the charging test with all the devices turned off. Right now, uh, we're speeding through and uh, I've gotta say though, uh, I think the OnePlus 7T, uh, the charger there, uh, the Warp Charger 30T, it will be doing an interesting job in this video because from what I'm seeing quickly, it looks like it's catching up, at least matching with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and of course the uh, Huawei Mate 30 Pro. But we'll see when we get to the 30 minute mark. Now, charging your devices at a very fast pace is something we all like because we can quickly top off and move. But of course, remember every device here has a different size battery. Not a single device has the same battery. We've got 4,500 milliamps for Huawei, uh, 4,300 for the Note. We've got 3,969 for the iPhone, and then we've got 3,800 for the OnePlus 7T. We're approaching that 30 minute mark, so let's see what we have here for all devices. This is gonna be very interesting to see. Uh, let's start up with OnePlus 70, 64 minutes. iPhone, uh, that's 49. Galaxy is giving us 59 minutes. And oh, Huawei 68. So OnePlus is ahead of the Galaxy, but behind the Huawei uh, at a 30 minute mark. That's interesting. And we expected the iPhone to be slower. It is an 18 watch charger. So, um, you know, it was going to be slow, but it was close to that 50% mark that Apple stated. So to be fair, they are correct with that 49%, pretty close, but I'm liking what OnePlus is doing here. I mean, again, bear in mind, smaller battery size compared to the, uh, the Huawei and the Galaxy, but it's still catching up pretty well. Now, the other thing to note is, uh, the charging brakes. Now, all of the, all of the devices here have, of course, fast chargers. The Galaxy, of course, is using Type C as well as the iPhone, and all the other two are Type A. So we're getting to, okay, let's see, we're getting to a closing mark here, and it looks like, who's gonna be the first? Yes, it is the OnePlus. OnePlus finished at 53 minutes and three seconds, while the Galaxy is at 90, and the Huawei is at 96, and the iPhone's behind. Like, let's not talk about the iPhone for now. But that's impressive. I mean, that's actually shocking. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that fast, 53 uh, minutes and three seconds. Uh, OnePlus said it, it was a fast charger, so I guess it is. Let's see who comes in second. It's, it's still trailing behind here, and I think the Huawei will probably finish second here. And that comes in at, uh, let's see, almost there, almost there. Huawei at 63 minutes. So an hour 
and three minutes is when the Huawei finished up. Again, remember, all these devices have been powered off, except the iPhone, which of course will always turn on. So you have that in play. What about the Galaxy? What do we have here? Now, this is quite interesting. This is the 45 watt charger of the Galaxy, it finishes at an hour and 11 minutes. I find that very, very strange because uh, the 45 watt charger in our last test finished at an hour while it was powered on. So that is very, very interesting to see here. And we finish up with the, the iPhone at an hour 48 minutes. So the iPhone has cut down its charging time quite a bit. Okay, wait, seriously, what did I just see? The OnePlus 7T is the fastest device to charge. Yes, it's got a 300 milliamp battery, but those numbers do not add up for the Galaxy or the Huawei. That is just way too long. So we are going to run this again for a second test, this time with the devices powered on. All right, we're running this again, and this time we're going all the way through to the first device, of course, fully powers up. Now, as you notice, there's one device missing in round two. It's the iPhone. Well, didn't make the cut. Our cut was basically an hour 30 minutes and the iPhone did an hour 48. I'm just joking. We just wanted to see if there was an anomaly here because I have a feeling that these devices charge differently when it's powered on or powered off. And we saw the numbers earlier with the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus doing a much longer time than its its 25 watt charger, which is uh, it's it's interesting to see. Now the Huawei we don't know because it's the first time with the Mate 30 Pro, but we'll see how that pans out. But from the quick just checks I'm seeing here, it looks like the OnePlus 70 is still ahead. Bear in mind, again, it has this smaller battery compared to the other two devices here on screen with the Galaxy at 4,300 milliamps and the Mate 10 30 Pro at uh, 4,500 milliamps. So we'll see how close they are, but it looks like it's going to be the OnePlus 7T again to take the lead and the win at this time. And we're getting close to the mark because you can see that, yep, it is the OnePlus 7T at 57 minutes. So when it's powered on, it's about four minutes slower. So it was 53 minutes before, now it's 57 minutes. So we can at least tell that with the warp charger, if your device is turned off, you get a faster charge. And if your device is turned on, it's slightly slower. Four minutes is no big deal, doesn't matter. Uh, that's cool. But the Galaxy also looks like it's moving faster. Remember the last time when we were running this with it powered off, it took an hour and 11 minutes. So that was a long time, much longer than I've seen for any charge times with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but we'll see where it is. It's almost there at 100. We're waiting for it. We can look at the always on display. Yep, it is at 60 minutes and 30 seconds. So within an hour, you should fully charge your Galaxy Note 10 Plus if it's powered on, if it's powered off you get an additional 11 minutes. So from our very unscientific study here, that's what we're getting. And the Huawei is behind here, but I would believe not as long, I am thinking, but I could be wrong here because again, these numbers have differed from time to time for me here. So we shall wait and see, but it looks like it's taking longer and longer and longer. It looks like it's actually past the time we had for the Huawei Mate 30 Pro when it was powered off. So let's see what time we get here for the Mate 30 Pro with it powered on. And we are almost at that point, speeding through the video. And boom, an hour and 11 minutes. So it swapped times of the Galaxy, 63 minutes when it was actually powered off. All right, guys, there you have it. We have a new king with a slight caveat. It is the OnePlus 7T. It is the fastest device to charge at 57 minutes when powered on and 53 minutes when powered off. Yes, I know this is unscientific. I also know it has the smallest battery of all the devices we tested here at 3,800 milliamps, but that's what you have for the OnePlus 7T. Coming in second or third, depending on the time, is the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, which comes in at 63 minutes when powered off and an hour and 11 minutes when powered on. And the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which comes in at 50, 60 minutes when powered off, on, sorry, and um, 
and an hour 11 minutes we're powered off and the iphone is you know an hour 48 minutes it's down the line down the line there so if you have any questions or any comments about this let me know if you disagree or you think i made a mistake Leave those comments down below, but give your thoughts. Do you think this makes the OnePlus 70 one of the best devices to buy, especially at its price point at $599? Imagine this, a $599 device can charge in 53 minutes. That's awesome, right? Anyway, thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.